world's biggest spring has emitted six times in Yellowstone as of late. Steamboat Geyser is famously unusual, and has stayed lethargic for a considerable length of time before. On the off chance that you go to Yellowstone to see Steamboat Geyser now, you will most likely observe some steam, and water gushing as high as 15 feet. In any case, you may get the chance to see the uncommon vast emission, in the event that you are fortunate. Dr. Robert Smith, who is known as the world's master on Yellowstone's supervolcano, coincidentally was flying by Norris Geyser Basin 44 years back, when Steamboat ejected. He said his is the main known aeronautical photo of Steamboat in a full ejection. Smith depicted it, boiling water tallness of around 500 feet, and the steam stature to about another 500 feet. Dr. Smith has examined Yellowstone Springs, supervolcano magma body, and tremors for a long time. He stated, I ascertained the likelihood of me getting that photo, it resembles one of every 150 million. Be that as it may, now, Yellowstone guests have a superior possibility than any time in recent memory to see the world's biggest spring eject. It is showering boiling water and steam several feet into the air, relatively consistently since March 15. The park site says it blew into the air again Saturday night, May 19. Stop geologist Dr. Jeff Hungerford said Steamboat's current action is exceptionally uncommon. He clarified, Steamboat Fountain was torpid for a long time from 1910 to 1961. Be that as it may, it had numerous ejections in the 80s, and a couple in the mid-2000s. Hungerford stated, Now, this action is very unique in relation to what we commonly observe, maybe a couple, when it's dynamic, a year. Neither Hungerford, nor Smith can clarify precisely what is making Steamboat so dynamic right at this point. They both say it has nothing to do with volcanic movement. Hungerford said the earth shakes more before a well of lava emits, before a noteworthy ejection in the region, we would see an expanded seismicity, or an alternate seismicity that we see now. Be that as it may, Dr. Smith's partners rushed to get the information to conceivably outline pipes of the component. He stated, they introduced 28 seismographs around steamboat. From that point forward, Steamboat ejected twice in the following week, 